everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. How are you doing today? I hope you're all having a good Friday. And um, I have a few things that I want to talk about. But today what I'm going to be doing is basically I'm going to be doing a little mixed media and junk journaling because for me, I always kind of kind of mix things up. So um, if you don't know how to interact with me and you're on a mobile device, what you have to do is um, you just swipe up and then you'll be able to chat as well with me. So you can do it that way because I love chatting with my audience. Or you can leave a comment after the video is over with or if you're on the So I hope the stream has come back up now. For some reason, my stream went bad on me. So I'm hoping that it came up okay. So let's see. Hopefully you all are still on with me. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. I know I don't want to start all over again, but I hope everything came up okay. Um, it's always quite unfortunate when things like that happen, but it's a technical difficulty and sometimes you just can't get around it when you're like on a live stream. So my son keeps trying to call me. Uh, let me respond to him really quick. I hope you all don't mind. Okay. And so, uh, Again, I don't know if you saw this part. I just wanted to let you all know that I am, um, I do have a new release over at Pleasant Creations. And um, let's see here. So if you go over to Pleasant Creations, you'll see the new release. And it is the Get Her Done Power Up um, collection and this is what it looks like it comes like in a pack I did a video on this one yesterday hi Diana yeah I'm back yeah I didn't know if I was gonna get back or not <laughs> uh, but this is the collection it's all packed up right now but you can look at the video and it has like uh over 100 items inside of this is an actual kit I know a lot of people post up journal kits and it's just journals or it's just pieces but it's like the whole kit to kind of get you going so that's going to be released at 6 p.m. today and, and I actually have a code down in the description and it is the YouTube fan code so if you use that you can get a discount on your purchases over at um, Pleasant Creations and it's always good so that's a hint hint <laughs> So I wanted to kind of show, uh, let me show my um, desktop. I'm going to go to the cloud so we can kind of get this show on the road because it almost turned into a fiasco, but I think it's going to be, I think it's all going to be okay. So let's go here. All right. So we're in the desktop. So I'm going to be working in my, um, my trusty journal that I'm almost finished with. And I love this journal. I love working in it, but when you're like a junk journaler or an art journaler, it's just like you want to finish a book and move on to the next book. <laughs> I think I have a thing for our new books. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to try to do a more live um, videos with me working in the book. And some of the items that I'm going to be using, I'm just going to show you kind of a still shot. Of some of the items I'm working with, I actually have a table over on the side of me here, and this is what it kind of looks like. It had the journal on there, and I took out some watercolors. I took out um, a stamp and my brushes and some pencils and some washi tape and some water and stuff like that. So I'm going to do um, kind of a mixed media and junk journaling type of thing. So I uh, hope you guys bear with me because I'm, that's just that's just kind of the the kind of person I am when it comes to stuff like this. I like kind of mixing things up. And then I also kind of I have a drawer where I kind of just throw things in that I want to use for junk journaling. And so I went inside there and I just picked out I just kind of just grabbed some stuff because I knew I wanted to kind of put some stuff down on the uh, table so or on the pages so I just picked out a few of those items and I also had some items that I posted these in my 
on Instagram as well. And these are just like, you know, I say it's like mixed media in a minute because I was on the telephone and I just had some stuff laying out on the desk because I always have stuff laying out on the desk. And like this was just, this was from a stencil that I made. It was it was going to go in the trash. So I made it into a nice little card. I used some stamps and um, then I used like some alcohol markers. So these are just some ideas that you can use for your journals also. And then this one was just a piece of cardboard. I don't even know what it came out of. I had it on my desk. So I used the stamp because stamps make me feel like an artist. <laughs> I feel like an artist when I'm using stamps. So I took out, took the stamps out and then I just used, I believe, um, to color these, I used some, um, my Crayola super fine tips. So I used those on that. And this one too, this was the back of some sticker paper. And I was like, you know, I throw a ton of sticker paper away because I use it for labels. I use it for making my own stickers and stuff. And I just had this piece on the desk. So I just, I stamped it because again, stamping makes me feel like an artist. <laughs> And I just colored everything in and it came out really nicely. And then this right here, this one is the piece de resistance for me. Uh, I love that. And if you look on the back, this is just some junk mail. I had some junk mail and I was sitting here and I just painted the, on the on the junk mail. You can't even see through this. I put gesso on it as well. So you can't see. So that was very, very nice on the junk mail. So I can use these pieces in my journal also. So there's a lot of things you can use in a journal. Um, I got this magazine and I showed this. I did a flip through of the magazines. Hey, Tamika, how are you doing today? So I did a flip through of this one also. And I can use like some pieces out of here if I wanted to within my own junk journal because the pictures in this magazine are amazing. And so I'm not going to let it go to waste. I actually added some of these pages into some of the journals um, that I've been making because they are just so dang on beautiful. So I could use that. And um, I also wanted to show you too. Now this book doesn't look like much, but I'm just all about rescuing books right now. And I've actually had this one for a while. This was probably one of the first kind of vintage books I got. And you can see it's just, it's in horrible condition. And so what I decided to do is make this my planning book. So I totally switched the way that I'm doing my planning. And I'll probably talk about that in another video. But um, I call this the book of time. So as soon as I can um, figure out how I want to do the cover, someplace on here is going to say the book of time. This is my book of time. And um, you can see the pit, the the, pit, the pages on the inside are a bit ratty. But look at that. Isn't that amazing? I posted this on my Instagram account and also um, on my Pinterest account. And y'all can follow me there. Um, the Pinterest account is Pleasant Creations, but everything else is Liz for a day, basically. So my Instagram account is Liz for a day. So I love the way this layout came out. And you can see I just have all these colorful pages. And so this is the way that I've been journaling. This is kind of just like a scrap page right here. And this page was for, I made it for like affirmation. So I, I glued two of the pages together because the pages were a little bit thin. And then on this one, I used like some mottling paste and a stencil that I had with a Buddha. And I just used some watercolors on the background of that. And then we have, since this is kind of like Earth Month, I was writing some, some information on here about like how I, um, basically things that I'm doing to be more Earth friendly. So I wrote that in here. So I'm kind of like putting the book together as I go. When I think of things, I just glue some pages together. I just, I won't say I slap watercolors on here, but <laughs> I've just been putting some watercolors on here also. And this page I'm going to use like for Netflix and Hulu to put how I'm watching series because sometimes I like to watch things over again and I kind of lose track for where I'm at. And this one this um these cards right here this is like my morning routine and my evening routine and I just took like some fabric and put it together and um so somehow I decided I was going to use this like a bookmark so I just oops 
I just put it in here and it kind of it's a bookmark for me and so I like using that and this is y'all this is my weekly layout for this week <laughs> It looks kind of crazy, doesn't it? But I had kind of a little bit of a crazy mind when I was doing it. So you can see, like, um, there's a lot of things that you could do. This page is just some cardstock. It was some lightweight cardstock. I glued it onto one of the pages and cut it down, and I just put, like, some checklist on here for myself. And so the rest of the book is a clean slate. I could still use pages out of here because I try to rip some pages out so it won't get too bulky. But this is what I'm, this is my planner right now. And I started using this in April. So I call this my book of time. So I wanted to show you all that because you don't have to kind of be limited by the terminology that you use when it comes to like your junk journaling and mixed media and smash books and all that kind of stuff. It's just like your imagination can just, it, it takes you where it takes you. And this is where mine's is taking me. And I thank you, Tamika. Tamika says, it looks groovy. Now, um, I, I'm anxious to get into another book. Again, I'm going to be working in this book. I'm anxious to get into another book. And I think the next book, type of book that I'm going to be using, um, which is going to be soon because this one is almost finished, is going to be um, a book like this. So here's another rescue book. It actually, this one is up in the shop, and I have a, a few more new books in the shop. And um, the flip through of this is coming up. I've already recorded it. And these were some time life books that I rescued, and the covers were just perfect. And so I, um, I used some of the original pages, and the pictures are just amazing. And I made some vellum to go on the front and the back. But I'm not going to go through the whole thing. But I'm definitely going to be making me one of these books. And that's going to be like my next book that I'll be using for my projects, my mixed media slash junk journal slash uh, scrapbooking, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I call it a Liz journal. That's what I call it. All right. So I'm going to find a pa the page that I already kind of know what I want to work on. And I'll be doing a flip through of this book, too, because I've done a lot off camera. There's some videos coming up as well for um, some process videos. I did some stuff last night and I didn't record it. But let's see. So I'm going to use this page right here. It's um, probably one of the last full pages that I have and I'm not really going to try to protect my surfaces because I just decided that I'm just going to use this little piece of background here uh, from now on to and not really worry about it because I have another good piece if I needed to have a nice clean surface so you always want to protect your surfaces of course so the first thing that I want to do though I do want to protect this page behind it so I have some well-used uh, freezer paper here. You can use some wax paper or some parchment paper. And another thing that I like to do is I like to kind of make sure that paper doesn't move. So I'm going to use some of my washi tape and I have some samples here so I don't have to go into my washi tape box. So I'm just going to grab one of these in here. And just grab some of the tape. And you all can ask me questions at any time if you like. Because I know I've just been talking a lot already. But that's okay. That's how we roll on this channel. And I'm just going to stick some washi tape on here. So that this, so the paper just doesn't slide around too much. And I'm going to keep that. And then also, I'm going to use like a clip. And I think I got this clip from like five below. And it was pretty inexpensive. I would like to get some more clips and that'll keep that page down, I think. Kind of out of the way to prepare it. So on this page, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of prepare this because I want to do like a watercolor background on here. So I'm going to use some gesso on here and I have a matte finish gesso and it's by Liquitex. And what the gesso does is it's going to kind of... Um, It'll protect the, not protect the page, but it kind of prepares the page for paint. So let's put down, I don't need a lot because this page is just not that big. I'll just put it right down on here. And the brush that I'm using here, I got this. Y'all yeah, got this at the dollar store. It was like in their like utility section. So um, I don't spend a lot for 
my brushes. And the reason why I haven't spent a lot on brushes, because I didn't know when I started doing like mixed media and things like this, if this was going to be like something that was short lived. So I didn't spend a lot of money on on this type of stuff. So you can see I need a, the page is soaking up the gesso, which is fine. I've seen people, they put a lot of gesso on their pages. But I try to put mine on sparingly. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. But what I'm doing is just trying to make sure all the surfaces are covered because they're not. They're not all covered. I can see it. I can see it from my angle. You all probably just probably just looks like a big white page from your angle. So I think that's enough. And this brush probably isn't the best brush to do this job. But you know, a sister's got to do what a sister's got to do. And then I also have um, a jar of water. And I'm just going to stick this in here so it won't get dry, dried out. So hopefully that'll be all the water that I need. So I want to, to dry this. And I still think I didn't do all the gesso that good. But you know what? It's my junk journal and I really don't care. <laughs> so I'm going to um, use my heat gun. This is one of my favorite items, you all, is the heat gun. Because... If you don't have a lot of time, which we don't have a lot of time together on here, so I try to use the heat gun so, to speed the process up. I think almost think it's kind of better if you leave your um, if you leave your things to set and dry. But I'm gonna tell you, I have never tried that. I've always used the heat gun on everything because I'm a heat gun kind of girl. <laughs> so we just wanna try to make sure it's relevant. It doesn't have to be super duper dry. And you can see it doesn't have a sheen or anything like this. I will say if I put the gesso over um, anything, like if I put over this, it will just totally cover it up because it's a matte finish. So it's not clear. So if you do get, get some gesso, just keep that in mind. So I'm going to try to keep my desk clear because usually when I do this kind of stuff, it gets a little uh, hairy on this desk. <laughs> my environment is a little crazy. So I'm just reaching over to my desk to grab some stuff. So I got these little palette, um, these little palette thingies from, I think I got them from like the dollar store or dollar general. And I got these paints from five below too. They were like five bucks. And when I first started using watercolors, I'm gonna tell you, I was using like a lot cause I didn't really realize that you only just need a little bit. Hey, Laura, it's good to see you. How are you doing today? So I'm gonna use, like when I say I'm gonna use a little bit, y'all, I'm gonna use just a teensy bit. And that is all, you, that's probably too much. See how much I put on there? I probably put too much on there, but, um, and then, of course, this is not a tutorial on how to do watercolors because I'm not that good at it, <laughs> but I'm all right. And I always keep like a bottle of water here. It just kind of works out better for me. And, you know, and then I just spray some water in here. I'm going to fill this little thing up with water. Try to do it at an angle so y'all can see. Try to be cognizant, uh, cognizant of the view. Yes, um, Diana asked, can you get the gesso that is clear through? Yes, you can. And I do have some as well. Um, and it will tell you if it has a clear finish. Now, the one that I got is not, is not um, by Liquitex. Um, I've heard that Liquitex is like the best brand when it comes to gesso. But just be cognizant that there are other brands. And Liquitex is a high-end brand. So it costs a lot. It co I won't say a lot more, but it does cost more. But just keep in mind, like if you get it at Michael's, you can use your discount coupon and usually get it for half. And they sell like the big jars and the small jars. So um, Art Basics sells gesso, but... They're not in the same spot where the Liquitex is for some reason. So you got to go on a hunt for it, but it's cheaper. But that's the kind that I have that is the clear one. So what I'm going to do is um, I kind of learned this from a lady. Her her handle is um, Confident Canvas. And 
I think I got that right. Cause some, I just forget some stuff. And what she did, she did kind of like a live um, video on her YouTube, her group YouTube channel, her group YouTube channel, her group Facebook. And instead of like swiping the watercolors on, she dabbed it on. And I've tried the technique and I like that better. I like the effect that comes out. Um, it does take me a little bit longer to dry the page, but you know, y'all. No, we're hanging. We're hanging out today. So we're going to, we're just going to uh, dab our pages. And then um, if you try to, with the watercolors, if you put too much on and then you try to take it off, like with a rag or with a paper towel, it pulls up the color. Now I've done that without the gesso on the page. So I don't know if it'll pull the color up without the gesso being on here. So I'm just going to. We're just going to roll with it and see what happens. Because I'm going to use my heat gun. Um, this is, uh, I think this is an art page. So it's made for watercolors. No, well, actually, I think it's from a sketchbook. Because I can tell it's soaking up the, soaking up the blueness on here. But I just wanted to have like a nice colorful background. Sometimes when I'm doing like my junk journaling, I just put it down on the white pages. Sometimes I do a collage on there with um, maybe like magazines and all kinds of stuff. So we're just gonna do it this way. Let me move this up. I, I realize I'm getting off camera here. <laughs> Cause you know, uh, as a, a videotographer, I guess I'm a videotographer. I'm an artist now, I'm a videotographer, I'm a YouTuber and all that stuff. You have to kind of like be co cognizant of a whole bunch of stuff. You have to be like a multitasker, y'all, mm -hmm. when you're doing videos and stuff. I have to make sure I'm in the shot. I still want to kind of communicate with people. So I have to look and see what people are posting, answer questions, flip through shots, all kinds of stuff. Don't that look pretty, though? I, it looks even better than I thought because I put that gesso on there, so... I like that and it's, I don't think it's going to take that long to dry. I don't have like a whole bunch of pools and you see I still have a lot of that watercolor left. I only use just a little bit of the watercolor and I mean, of the, um, the watercolor paints and a whole bunch of water and I still got half and this page is totally covered. And you may not even want to cover the whole page. And I will say like the really the colors really come out on the pages after they've been sitting and drying, even after I've used the heat gun. So, cause I don't think it's like totally dry when I use the heat gun, cause I'm just so impatient. And you can see where the the gesso itself kind of added some dimension to this page. I like this. This is the first time I've done this, y'all. Y'all seen it first. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my little, I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun, cause Again, I'm a heat gun kind of girl. So what do you all have planned for this weekend? Um, I think it's going to be a nice weekend. I had planned to go to the beach during the week. And then it showed on the weather, on my weather app, that it was going to be a little bit cool. So I decided not to go. And then that day that I was going to go, then I didn't go. Of course, the weather got better. But I don't think, I don't like going to the beach during the week because I don't want to, I don't want to like fight for a spot on the beach because I just like to sit and look and enjoy the quietness and I don't mind a lot of people being out there, but you know, ice and snow. <laughs> oh, that's right. A lot of people still, you know, it's hard to imagine like winter weather when you're down here in such good weather. I'm talking about going to the beach and you guys still wearing your, um, your galoshes. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I will say that I grew up in galosh weather, so. <laughs> hey, baby girl. <laughs> oh, you're working all weekend? You know what? I work on the weekend, too. Hey, casual, okay? <laughs> but uh, I saw this meme on Facebook. And it was so funny. So if any of you all know like uh, Frozen, the characters from Frozen, they show, I don't know if you already seen it, but they showed this policeman 
he had he had one of the characters in the handcuffs, the one that's the Snow Queen, and it had on there. I finally caught this bee. No more snow. <laughs> and I thought that was so funny. I guess she had to be there. All right. So I think this is dry enough. And look at that. Isn't that amazing? It's still a little bit wet, but I think I can work with it. I'm going to dry it just a little bit more. Yeah, it's a little bit wet down here at the bottom. When you're using your heat gun, I always like to mention that um, you don't want to get too close to your paper or whatever you're using because things bubble and it'll burn or whatever. But look how the gesso can The gesso... The spots where the gesso was at. It's so pretty. I love I'm so like loving um the watercolors lately because every time I put it down I get like a different pattern and I like it for backgrounds. So you could actually use this like for um scrapbooking too. So this will make a good background for like a picture. Let me see. I've got some photos in here. Let me see if I can get to them since I I cover everything up, kind of. I got a, uh, let's see. I'm gonna see how, how my photo would look. Let me open this. I think I got some photos in here. Nope, not in that pocket. I got a few pockets in here. Let's see, where are you photos? I have some photos that I wanna put down. If I can find them. I just wanna see how they look. Oh, in this pocket here. See, it's nice to have pockets. It has some pictures here of some of my relative, me and my brother. I should have posted this for Siblings Day. I think yesterday or day for yesterday was Siblings Day. So let's look. See? So I could have put my photos on here. If, or background. That would be really pretty. And it had this little paper that said dates to remember. But I'm not going to use the photos. So I'm going to put those back in here. I'm going to use those for another time because I collect up some stuff. Did I say hello, Casual K? Okay, I hope I said hello. hope I said hello to you. Okay. So now, let's see. what a, I, I really didn't have too much of an idea as to what I wanted to do before I started, but I just pulled some stuff out cause, to see what I could do. So I'm going to use some stays on. And this is black, and that's the only color that I have in the stays on. And the stays on is a permanent ink. So if anybody wants to know, so water will not activate this. So I'm gonna use this is a, a Heidi Swap like arrow um, stamp. So I'm gonna use that also. And I just take the the stamp pad and stamp it on. I don't know if that's the best technique or not, but that's what that's what we're rolling with today. So you know what? Let me put the put this back on here. Those clamps work out really well, I must say. So I'm gonna seems like I never get enough ink on my stamps like the first round, but it doesn't have to be perfect because this is not all about being perfect. All right, so let's see. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm gonna do like the whole thing with the stamps. So I'm just gonna rub that around. And it, actually the stamp is still on the plastic backing that it was on because I don't have a block that is big enough for this, so. Dun, 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 dun. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to put the stamp all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. And I think I want to use some more watercolors on here as well. So that looks good. So I'm just going to put that over to the side. And I'm going to close up my stamp pad so it won't get dried up. And put that over to the side also. And then I'm just going to stick this down in the water. Even though it has like gesso on it, but who cares? Um, like I said, I don't have like, you know, artist grade brushes, so it's not really like a big deal. I guess to some people it would be. I just really started calling myself an artist, but I think I am, so I am. It's like, it's like that, I don't know what her name is, that lady in politics that she's actually Caucasian, but she thinks she's black. I'm like, I, you know, 
I'm probably just a, a much of a novice, but I think I'm an artist. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to. Um, I want to this. I, I have a thing about blue and pink, so I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to mix up the red and the white and make pink, or at least a light color pink. So again, I got um, one of my little watercolor, and these things look so tiny. Look. My hands are kind of big, but if you look at this, it looks so tiny in my hands, but you don't need a lot. So if you're using the watercolors, which I will highly suggest, um, cause they're a lot of fun to use. You just only, I'm just going to put a little dab on here and then I'm going to put a little dab of white as well. So you can mix the colors to make some of the colors that you want. If you don't want to go out and just buy a whole palette of a whole palette of paints which like I said if you don't know if this is gonna be like a really good gig for you doing the mixed media and stuff like that then I wouldn't go that route all right and then I got my water my ghetto water it's easier to keep the water on your desk like this because then you don't have to worry about it spilling all over the place. So you see, I still have some blue, so maybe I can use that on another page. So I'm gonna mix this, give her a mix. It didn't really come out pink, but I'm okay with this color. You can see it. It, it might look a little red on the screen, but it's kind of, it almost has like a little bit of a peachy tone to it. So I'm going to use some of this on this page. I'm going to do the same thing and try not to put too much paint on here because it just takes too long to dry when you do it that way. So this is kind of like kind of random and I can go, I feel like I can go over the stamp too. And it doesn't cover up the stamp, which is perfect because that's kind of what I'm going for. gonna have like a randomness I almost feel like I could sell my my artwork <laughs> thank you Laura Laura says yep you're an artist I'm doing craft art yes ma'am yes ma'am I don't want to go all the way to the top so it kind of came out what had happened I know what happened even though I had like the pink um, when I put the water back on here it activated that blue so the colors came out a little bit muddled. Not really how I wanted it to be. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put some of this on the top. And I'm not going to rub it too much. It's kind of red, it's not really pink, but oh well. You know, you win some, you lose some. I'm gonna leave it just like that. Now this is gonna take a minute to dry because it's pooled up quite nicely. And I'll leave this because what I'll do probably, I don't know if I'll do it on here or not. I can use these colors in an, on another layout or something, something or other. So I know this is going to take a minute and look how the heat gun and make sure, uh, make sure paint kind of go around. Sometimes when I'm doing this, I think, you know what? I probably should have just left it alone. The way it was, was kind of like perfect, but you know what? Sometimes you don't know how things are. I say it all the time. You don't know how things are going to come out until after you are like totally done. And then you can really tell how things turn out. Like when I first put that paint down, I had no idea it was going to make like the designs that it made until after it was completely dry. So you kind of have to let the page kind of tell you what to do, what kind of flow it has, it's like, with the mixed media, it just has its own, it takes on its own type of energy. And if you are one with your pages, then you listen to the energy and it'll kind of tell you what to do. <laughs> that sounded very zen, didn't it? <laughs> but I like that. It's the zen of the page that kind of helps you guide your hand as to how you want the page to look. So it actually came out a little bit brown, which I wanted more like a pink color, but like I said, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So I am going to just try to, I'm probably going to, 
I'm gonna try to dab up some of these that are pulled. Let's see what happens. It might pull like the, the um, see how I pulled up the color off the page when I did that? So it kind of left kind of, actually I like that look. I left kind of like some white spots, but that's okay. So there. And I'm kind of okay with that. I like that. I like the look of that. Okay, so let's see. What am I going to do next? This is how I create. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just, and normally when I work in my junk journal, I work on a whole bunch of pages at the same time. But when I'm on with you guys, I try to kind of complete a page. But usually what I'll do is I'll go through, I'll put a picture here. I'll put a magazine page there, whatever I have. But for you guys, I try to be just a tad bit more organized. So let's look at... Some of the stuff that I have out so oh, not that um, I took out some cards um, I had this little piece of um, antique paper that I had left over from a project I was testing some stamps because I got these stamps at Goodwill I didn't show this on a haul video because I have been hauling too much stuff but I got like this big bag of stamps for like a dollar ninety nine, and these transportation stamps were one of them. And I was testing it on some scraps, and so I think I'm gonna put that on this page because I like it. And I could even go back and color this in. So I'm gonna put that on there. I don't know if I'll use that, and um, I don't even know what I could use this for. And let's see, what else do I have over here? I also have like these masking tapes are what they're called, but they're like washies and um, I included these I included like a few of these in each of the books that I um, that I posted up in my Etsy shop as well so that I like for people to have not just the books, but they have like some things to get started with. So I put some of the masking tapes in here and the masking tapes come like in all different kind of colors. Have you all worked with any of these? They seem to stick pretty good to me and I love putting them kind of throughout and you get like a variety of these. So I really, 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 really like these. So I think... I want to keep like the baby blueness. I might use that in here some kind of way. And let's look at some of the true junk that I have here. And I just pull some stuff out. Don't know if I'm going to use all of it. This is scraps, just scrap paper. Let's see. I could make like a pocket. You could put that like on the edge like that. It has like that ripped kind of torn feel even though the colors don't really match but I could make a pocket out of that or just glue it all the way down let's see what else we got I don't even know why I cut these out because I'm not like a an animal person like this I mean I like dogs and cats but I don't know if I want them in here I like this picture I got that out of a library magazine and that's a journaling card I got a whole bag of stuff here pictures yada 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 oh I might use this piece right here I don't know this was from red lobster coaster uh, I don't I don't know if they I guess they do use them over again okay let's see let me put this stuff back over to the side decisions decisions I'm gonna try to not take too long to make a decision because sometimes I'll just sit here and it's just on like Donkey Kong. We got some fabrics that we can use. This is a piece of Atlas paper. What else do we have in here? This was off of a project that I was working on also. Let's see. Just some more pieces, pieces, pieces. Okay. Somebody asked me what I do with some of the fabrics I use. I use a lot of the scraps for stuff like this because it just adds interest to the page. So these are, these just kind of fell out. So I might just use them on this page some kind of way because you can just glue these on or staple them on or something like that. 
So I was just working on this page. See how it migrated? See how the energy of the page guided me over to this page? Because <laughs> I didn't really know what I was going to do with this, but the graph paper makes a good background as well. And so I probably just play with this just for a second. And then you know what? Then I get to the point and I'm like, just put something down, Lizzie. You got to just start putting stuff down. I want to use this. I like this. What if I do something like this? And I feel like it needs like a pop of color. So I'm going to cut this page out here because I like the red in here of this lady. So let's see. We're going to cut her out. Do any of you do like any mixed media? If you have a YouTube channel and you are on here chatting with me, tell everybody what what you post on your channel. Um, I haven't really been I haven't really been going to the other channels like I used to, but I probably will soon because I kind of miss going to some of my favorite YouTube channels. So if you're on and you're watching and you have a YouTube channel. Let us hear what kind what kind of things do you post on your channel? I think I'm gonna leave that 18 on there because I don't want to cut I don't want to cut off her uh, her arm. All right, so that's gonna add my pop of color in here. See how my dust is already starting to get junky because that's the crafting life. <laughs> so and then. And I'm just going to put this down here at the bottom. So, yep, it does cover up a lot of stuff. Or maybe I'll do this a little bit differently. Because you can think out of the box when you're doing stuff like this. Okay, I'm just going to start putting some stuff down. Or else I'm just going to end up just moving stuff around, moving stuff around, moving stuff around. And I don't want to be in that life today. I just want to kind of layer some things up on this page I'm not trying to cover up the what I have on the background it's just working out that way so now the thing is to figure out how I'm gonna lay stuff down so this is a new glue that I decided to start using I've seen people use it and it's Fabri-Tac and basically it's for um, gluing fabric down to surfaces but I've seen people use it for everything now, I will say, I probably won't use it for everything because this is some darn expensive glue. So, um, I kind of pick and choose, but I'm going to use it on here today uh, for, since I have a lot of fabric. So, let's put this one down first. But, yeah, I wouldn't definitely. So, Diana, she has a channel and she said her channel is the marker nerd and she does 3d printing and crap and paper crafting but i'm gonna have to check your channel out that sounds pretty interesting to me now you see how i wonder is this gonna like um glue if that glue is going to kind of dry clear i don't know because i've never used this in this manner so I'm just going to put like a little bit. Maybe a little bit goes a long way in this case. I probably didn't have to use that much. Yeah. And then I'll put you down here. And maybe things will flatten out more. Maybe they'll flatten out a little bit more as I use the book. If not, if anything, if nothing else, I can always like cover that up. So yeah, I'm gonna have to check your channel out. The Marker Nerd 3D Printing. You know, I've always seen like the 3D printing and when I first, when 3D printing first came out, it probably was out a lot longer be than when I first saw it, but I was like, I didn't really understand it. I still don't really understand the 3D thing. I'm gonna leave that hanging off just like that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on here. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit because I don't think I need it as much as I used. And 
I don't think it's going to take that much. But I'm going to leave the fabric hanging right off of there because it, it made a tab. <laughs> I like that. Okay. And then on this side, let's put a little bit. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this so it hangs off too. I like stuff hanging off my, off my junk journal. It might not make sense to some, but to Lizzie it does. And you know what? I don't think I need this paper on here anymore either. So let's take that off. It's distracting me. Put that over to the side. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this. And take just a little bit of glue. I like stuff hanging over the side. Now I'm going to use, instead of glue for this, I'm going to use some double-sided tape. And thanks to Rachel... Uh, I found that Joanne sells the double-sided tape for a relatively inexpensive price, so, and I like it. Should I use this side? Because it has more color than this side does. I think I will. So I'm just going to take like a few pieces, or you could use like a tape runner if you wanted to. Sometimes I just like using this, the double-sided tape. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm just putting a double-sided tape on the back of here, and then, let me put the top on here, on my glue. I really need to reorganize my, my space, because I have so much stuff now, and I have to run all over the place to find what I want, because I have that, that craft room sprawl thing going. And... I want to get some of those Ikea drawers, and one of them I would like to have right next to me, And because sometimes I'm just sitting here, and I'm like, okay, it's the end of the day, and I want to do like some projects or whatever, and I just grab stuff, so I like for the mixed media stuff to be close to me. And then I think I'm going to put her kind of like that. And I'm going to use some tape for her, too. Let's just put her down. We're just going to put her down with some tape. Well, one little piece of tape. I think that'll be enough. And then I always rub my double stick, stick tape down to make sure it's sticking good. And this is a weeding tool that I got from Cricut. And I love using it for this tape because it makes it easier to take the tape up than to use my fingers. So... If you all are enjoying, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to share out on social media if you deem it uh, of quality. <laughs> all right. Oh, I said I wanted to use this too. So you can see I'm now at the point where I'm just put sticking stuff down because that's the way I like to do it. All right. And I have some washi tape that I'm going to use also. And so... I'm gonna, I like the colorful, the um, floral washi tape. And I'm gonna kind of make this like kind of a little bit of a flip up because then I can write on the back of here. So, behind it rather. Cause I'll go in later and I'll write stuff in. Um, the last time I did this, I had someone that asked me how come I don't write stuff on like immediately and put the dates on there. And to me, that's just not that important. I use my junk journal to not only kind of be able to like decorate, just decorate things, I use it for like little snippets of thoughts. So I don't put like major thoughts or, you know, if I'm having a terrible day or anything like that, I just have to write something down. I use it just to just write snippets of thoughts down and sometimes the images and the so-called junk that I put in here, it kind of reminds me of things from my childhood. And it's just kind of like a fun, this is like a fun space here. So this is like a little bit of a flip up here. Flip up card. And let's see. I could use this like a flip up too. Because I could actually write on this as well. Where would I like, where would I like to put you at? I don't know. I might be putting too much on these pages, but... I don't know. Can you put too much in a junk journal? I don't think that's possible personally. 
this came out to be kind of a hodgepodge of a, of a space. Now I'm going to use to put this down. I don't know if I want to use, actually it'll be all right. Cause what's on the back of it is not going to go through. So what do you all think so far? Is this like kind of like a crazy kind of layout? Does it seem like a crazy energy on this page? Like what would you do differently? Okay, I like that. Cause I like just laying stuff down, it makes me happy. And then I have these like little letters. No, I don't think so. Let's see. Do I want to use some of my artwork in here on this page? I could put, maybe put you down here. Because I do want to leave a little bit of space where I can do some where I can write. And it's going to be hard for me to write over here, but I could do some writing over here. That's covering too much. That's doing too much on these pages. I think that's probably going to be about it on these pages. And I want to find a way to kind of keep this down a little bit. What can I use that I have on my desk where I don't have to get up? That is the question. Let's see. Let's look in. Oh, yeah. My little junk pal that I have here. Let's see what we have that I can use. I know I'm gonna spill that. Let's see if I have something small that I can kind of tack this down with. Nothing in there, nothing there. If y'all can see my desk, my desk just turned into a big mess. Let's see, what do we have here? I got some mason jars. I'm actually gonna have some mason jars coming up in um, in my shop soon. Some cutouts. Let's see. I don't know. I'm kind of now. I'm kind of stuck. I hate watching videos where people don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I was talking about that with some other other people. How like the. There's like some amazing journalers that I love watching, but sometimes I don't like I don't like hearing them talk because they there's one she purposefully pronounces her words wrong like a little baby does and she but she does it all the time so it's not it comes to the point where it's not funny for me anymore and I don't like I don't like watching her I don't like watching her videos but I love wa looking at her work and so it's quite unfortunate. I'm like, would she just, would you just please like talk right? That's all I want you to do. Now, what I could do with this is this can be a flip out as well. I just feel like it's too much going on now. If that's possible. Is it possible you can have too much going on on a page? I still didn't find what I was going to use for the flip to hold that down. I don't really want to hold it down. I just want it to be down a little bit. Um, I think I am going to put this up here. And this is going to act as a flip out. This is like a, a uh, vintage um, seam binding packaging. And I'm just going to stick it right here. I normally don't use a lot of wet glue either. But today, that's just how I'm feeling. So this, if I can flip this out, I can write in this if I wanted to. Okay, he doesn't belong. But for now, he's just, this is gonna just stay like this. So I'm gonna put a paper clip and hold that down. So I'm still, and I think I'm about finished with this page, but I just need something small. Um, I'm trying not to like get up and go look for something because I always have stuff on my desk. What about in here? Do I have anything here? No. I've had these little bowls like since the beginning of time. I don't even know why I got them. Can I put a bow in there? 
it will look totally out of place, but why not? It's on my desk and it needs to be used. I can feel it. It just needs some use. And it has like a, ooh, I can use this too. It has like a little sticky thing on there already. And I just want it so it will hold that little page down. So looks like it's for Christmas, but oh well, who cares? There we go. Now, dun dun dun, dun. I can still flip that up. I can write on the back of that. So I think that page is done. And then I found like this little, this little piece here, this little cutout. I'm gonna put that right there. So let's use some more glue. And y'all, y'all haven't told me. The only person that told me what the, what's on their channel or told us is Diana. What, 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 what what's the rest of y'all doing? What y'all doing? Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna stick that right there. So it has some nice pops of red. So I think these pages are basically kind of a finished. Let's see how the closability is on it. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. I don't think like your junk journal is made to be, really be closed after you start using it because I like looking at mine. Look, this is a tab that I made today and it's a little tab right there. Like I said, I'm going to do a um, flip through of this whole thing because it is just, I love, I love looking back into my junk journals. They are so beautiful and I'll probably go back in and I'm going to do some writing and stuff on here. Now, one thing that I will do. Let's find the stays on is I've also been kind of using the ink pads to like go around the edges to kind of give it like a border. So let's see if, let me see if I can give it a border without making a mess. Cause that, that doesn't always happen either. Sometimes things come out to be a mess. So you can see, I'll even go around. I guess you don't want to do your ink pads like this too much because I think it messes up the fibers in your ink pads, but you know, we're doing what we're doing. Let's do the bottom here. That always gives the page kind of a finished look. If you give it kind of like a border. I like the way the watercolors came out. Of course, I covered up most of it, but that's okay. It's still had a really good background. Hopefully that gave you all some ideas of what you could do. This side, what the heck, I don't know. The paper is a little bit thinner on this side, but oop, I think I can give it a border, a messy border, which I'm totally okay with, even at the bottom where the fabric is at. Give it a little bit of a messy border. Because it seems like things kind of float when you don't give it a border. So what do you all think? So let's see. Let's just move some of this stuff out the way so it won't be so distracting. So I could just look at the paper. All right. Move this stuff out the way. All right. So it's my tassel. I have to move the tassel out the way. There we go. So that is going to be the finished page. I'm not going to put anything else on these two pages. So you can kind of see the process that I went through. Now, I think I'm going to do a few more things, though. Because the energy from the page that I'm getting, <laughs> it doesn't feel finished yet. <laughs> oh, you're covering the back and the front of your junk journal. Ooh, Laura. I wish I could see that. Do you have like an Instagram account or something where you post it at? Um, I'm going to use this white paint pen, I think. These are like my favorites now. These are the Uniball pens, the white pens. I like the way they come out, but I think I'm going to have to get like a proper white paint pen. Now this is a paint pen and this is by Craft Smarts. This is a Michaels brand. It's an everyday brand so you can't use a coupon on them. But I bought like a set of these and you can see the tip on that. 
it's kind of round so I don't know well let's see what you do is you have to kind of shake it up you don't have anything on your channel yet well Tamika you need to you need to get it together girl get it together so we can see some of your stuff or if you post it on social media you guys can let me know what your social media handles are if you post it so I'm gonna try something very novel here I haven't tried this before and I'm gonna put like some little dots right on this fabric because the fabric looks it looks too plain and I just want to jazz it up a little bit just a few little dots I don't know if that worked out or not but you know and then on this I like doing like a little outline it looks like a stitch so I'm just gonna use the white pen for this where's my glasses I need my old lady glasses stuff looks better when I'm using my old lady glasses so let's see let's see what time it is Ooh, I gotta get ready because I have to I have to post up those um, those journals that are supposed to be released at 6 today. So I have to make sure I'm off by 6. So I can make sure that's done. Because I, I forget stuff real fast. <laughs> I don't know. Can you all see that? See the stitching on there? That kind of gives that a finished look too. And what I'm also going to do... I just had to I took some of my pins out of here I'm gonna I'm just gonna use a regular ink pen if I can find the one that I like let's see I'm gonna use my pilot G2 and I'm also going to attempt to go around the outside of this beautiful lady if you make a mistake that's all right and then that way she kind of stands out also so Laura says she likes the bow I like the bow too and I'll probably write something on this little tag as well and she doesn't have an Instagram account but she says she'll take a picture when she's done and post it as as a comment oh can you can't do that here on uh on YouTube can you I thought about doing like a, a Facebook group, but I'm like so bad with my consistency. I think I would just like PO everybody off because, I mean, I have a page, a Facebook page, but it's not the same as having a group where everybody can kind of post things. So let's see. I think I'm also going to go around. I'm going to stitch around this one, too in a different way. I'm going to do like a dot line, dot line. That makes me feel like an artist too because you know I can dot line the mess out of stuff and it always makes it look better. <laughs> or put arrows or circles. You know basic shapes can be your friend if you want to be an artist. That's what I'm going for the basic shapes. See how nice these pens right? I have a pen. I'm running. It's running out of ink already. I love these. Gotta watch out because they'll smear too. It's like actual paint coming out. I got these on Amazon. I think they came like three in a pack. So that makes that look pretty. Kind of jazz it up so it won't be so plain. I like that. Can you see? Let me put that up so you all can see that too. So that's what the pages look like. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do anything else right now. Sometimes I go back in and I'll do things on here. And yeah, I think I got these bows. Tamika says she's loving the bow as well. I think I got this bow around Christmas time, of course, and they had like a whole bunch of bows. So, and I swear, these bows have been sitting here in this container forever I cut they were all like on one page and then I just cut them down and I just stuck them in this actually it's a little drawer 
and I just stuck them in here. Oh, look, I got pictures in here. Oh, that's my favorite cousin. See, I can use these pictures. Sometimes I have like some uh, misprints of my pictures that I use for something else, and I just keep them, and I'll just use them like in a different layout or something. Okay, so now, for real, for real, I think I'm finished with this, and actually, I'm kind of right on time um, because I wanted to be finished like at least by an hour because I do have some other things that I need to do as well. But I have this paint still, and I don't want to waste it. So I'll probably take out my art journal, and I will um, put some paint in. I'll just put, put some paint in there and then let that air dry since I have some other stuff to do. So what do you guys think? How do you think? What do you think about the layout that came out here? So while I'm waiting because there's a delay, so I have to wait for the answer for that. <laughs> I'm just going to mention uh, a few. I'm going to do some more shameless plugs if you all don't mind. And again, you can head over to PleasantCreations.com. That's my shop. And I have put in to down below. I put the discount code down below, which is YouTube fan. So you can get like a discount off your purchases. Um, over there and also if you want to be notified and kind of join um, the email list and I don't spam anybody and I don't send out a lot of email so you don't have to worry about that you can um, hit the link below which is the subby VIP sign up so you can hit that and go over there also if you like to be notified because I'm going to start notifying people that when I'm going to be on live as well by email also so I uh, again, I have these beautiful journals that you can use any kind of way that you want to. You can use them as art journal. You can use them as uh, junk journals. You can use them as scrapbooks, whatever. I got I got these posted over in the shop also. And I'm going to start using one of these for my junk journal. So if you get one, then we can you can follow along with me when we come on and do stuff like this. So you can come on and we can uh, journal together with that. And then the last shameless plug is going to be um, that these um, packs are available at six o'clock today and there are it's a limited supply so there's only going to be a few of them and it contains a journal it has a glue stick it has scissors ink pen it has everything that you need for a uh, to do fitness journaling i call it a fitness um, vision board and then it has like some card stock in it just I, I cut out everything from magazines and I put it all into one lovely pack so um, that's uh, going to be available at six o'clock today so I am going to go ahead and shove off now that I did all my little shameless plugs and stuff I hope you guys don't mind or you ladies because I don't think I have any gentlemen that watch on here and I want to thank you all for joining me I always have fun when I come on here and I'm going to try to go and check out some channels as well I'm going to leave the chat up on this particular video for the replay so other people can also check your channels out also so that's kind of cool um so that's kind of an incentive to chat with me because then you get to uh, also be able to um have people to come and visit your channel if you have a channel open of course and so tamika says she's loving it and laura said pages look fun have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Love and light. I like that love and light. That is so nice. So um, with that, I'm just going to say, as always, love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet Lotus Blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life. Love, love that love and light. All right, everybody. I'll get with you later. Bye.